हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल यंकी रॉयल रिएक्शनरी आई एम अमनप्रीत कौर आई एम अमनप्रीत सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर अप विद अनदर वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिएक्ट ऑन द नाइट ओसामा बिन लादेन वाज किल्ड ओएमजी द टाइटल इज सो टेरिफिक या आई नो अबाउट लाइक इन माय चाइल्डहुड व्हेन आई गॉट दैट न्यूज़ सो वी आई नो ओसामा फ्रॉम लाइक वर्ल्ड आफ्टर द वर्ल्ड ट्रेड सेंटर यस बिफोर दैट we are not aware about maybe because we are kid might yeah. be my father or grandparents know about it but so yeah. we were just having a fear of that name that mm. yes he is some bad guy and mm. he is not doing good this and that yeah and and many people think uh, like i know i i i all, always say like this some people are confused between muslim and sikh now many people are know about sikh there is some other religion because he wear some kind of white turban <laughs> who look like the our turban and they have the beard. like beard but the the things which you can notice is they don't have the mustaches they cut it down their mustaches so this is the one way that you can but this is very hard i know it is very hard to recognize but yeah nowadays people are knowing about more uh, like muslims not th- those guys that terrorists these are they don't have any religion yeah not all the muslims obviously, are like saying we support all the religion yes but yes. these are the damn terrorists mm. we don't have any opinion on these so so yeah okay let's, let's see. watch this video yes, and, then and then we'll talk about it so without wasting any time let's, let's get, get started, started. we had a division rivalry between the nets and the phillies the ballpark was full it was a really lively atmosphere but you know at the time i just thought i was sitting down to do a regular baseball game we didn't know what was going on we just knew something special happened and i don't know how to to describe that when you don't know what's going on but you know it's special the afternoon was spent on pins and needles i wasn't watching sports that night house here at Citizens Bank Park in an awfully nice night for a ball game here in Philadelphia the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies Sunday night baseball you know it's always a rivalry when a New York team and a Philadelphia team get together i think for the most part we respected one another but i think certainly we didn't like each other when i was wearing red and white pants stripes i couldn't stand orange black and blue i just couldn't the Mets Phillies rivalry it's based on proximity there's a little bit of a big brother little brother issue going on i think it's always extra special obviously that rivalry is always electric atmosphere even in our production meeting prior to i remember someone making the point that this is the only show in town and by that i mean really the only major sporting event going on across the country and that's not often the case baseball No two count on the lead. On the swing and a foul tip held by Paulino, Lee strikes out. One down. Let's see who in the White House announces a presidential news conference. I'm watching the game. We have uh, monitors here, watching Twitter on the laptop, and the White House reporters that I follow. They started talking back and forth about. the president has called a news conference. Okay. Our news editor Claire Smith passed a note along at some point to me, POTUS news conference tonight. To me, honestly, you know, I'm locked in on what's going on in the field. I'm not even factoring in what this could mean. And Young strikes him out as the Phillies leave the bases loaded here in the 7th inning. It was a one-run ball game. The tying run was on base, and Ryan Howard's coming up. But all of a sudden, you become aware of something else. I looked down at my phone, and I got a text from a buddy who always watched games, and he said they got Bin Laden. Bobby nudged me with his elbow and showed me his phone. You know, this isn't in the play-by-play handbook. They don't tell you how to deal with this one. There were rumors that Osama bin Laden had been—you uh, know—the United States had got him and that they'd killed him. 
Tom Archer, our producer, right away said, we're trying to corroborate it. Don't say anything yet. We're preparing a statement. Uh, so you try to put it out of your mind for a second, and you keep calling the game. They've only got two hits in this game. They've got three hits in this game. Mayberry getting the wave. The throw from Bay, not in time, and the Phillies have tied it. When we understood what was happening and that this was less a rumor and more fact, we said we're going to bring the announcers on camera at the end of the eighth inning. Ground ball to second, inning over. Some breaking news for those of you who have been with us on the ball game. ABC News is reporting that Osama bin Laden has been killed and a presidential news conference is upcoming momentarily. I think thereafter, we had our eyes open for when that bit of news was going to find its way into the 40,000 plus people who were at Citizens Bank Park. At the very beginning of the ninth inning, um, my now wife, fiance at the time, just happened to be on her phone, I guess. Um, it wasn't the most entertaining game for her. On CNN, an article popped up about, uh, it's not confirmed yet, but it looks like bin Laden has been killed. And then, you know, I, I turned to my fiance and said, hey, look at this, this is something. My friend next to me, she suddenly lets out a, oh my God, we killed bin Laden. After that, it just, everything changed. Got a chant of USA as the news goes through the crowd. There were two events going on at once. One was a baseball game, and one is a hugely significant world event, which people, one by one, are finding out about around the ballpark. Once the word was started to leak out, we were told to find people sharing cell phone information with people beside them, find people that were excited jumping up and down. That night, it was pretty easy to find good shots. That's when I decided to pull out my phone. It just kind of struck me as the, this is like a once in a lifetime kind of moment. USA! 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 There's no place in the world right now where there are more Americans gathered than in that ballpark and they were all experiencing this rush of emotion simultaneously and spontaneously. The players, of course, had no idea what was going on. Very rarely do you hear USA chants break out, you know, out of nowhere. So it's kind of just a, a bit of a state of confusion, then you get locked in for your bag. And I'm thinking, what national team's playing and who are they playing and who they beat? <laughs> Was there a soccer game going on? I thought maybe there was a hockey game going on. <laughs> I was confused, and it kind of took me off of what I was doing. Just missed outside of the knees. And a base runner for the Mets here in the ninth inning in a 1-1 one -one tie. Wright is running and steals it. Let's go down to field level with Wendy Nix. Wendy? Well, Dan, you're exactly right. As word begins to filter through the ballpark about Osama bin Laden, the players, at least in the Phillies dugout, are clearly unaware. They don't have the same devices that we have. I was directly adjacent to the Phillies dugout. They're looking at me, you know, and they're looking at each other, and they're looking at their, their manager. And the obvious question, do you know what's going on? And here comes the USA chant again. We didn't know what was going on, we just knew something special happened. And you're in an out, but you're an in, you're a part of it, but part of what? <laughs> Jason Bay is going to be the batter. I got no idea what's going on, and I'm Canadian, you know, and I'm thinking, <laughs> I've been called a lot of things, especially in Philly, but you know, the, the USA thing, they're, they're trying to get under my skin. 
Two on, two out. Bay the batter. Tied at one in the ninth inning. In the air to center field. Hitting over. Everybody's coming into the dugout, and we're all kind of looking at each other. And you know, obviously the chants are still going, and we're sitting there going, "Okay, what's happened here?" And the trainer kind of breaks the news to all of us. That's kind of how it spreads, is is by that word of mouth. Obviously, you know, no question, the baseball game becomes secondary to, you know, the news and, and the president, you know, addressing the country, you know, a few minutes after that. The White House has just announced that. Uh, the president will address the nation about one minute from now. So, in between the matches. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. What we remembered right away was uh, the chance that we started hearing outside the White House. And, you know, my working assumption was is that if people had gathered that quickly outside of the White House, chanting USA, USA, that across the country, the same thing was taking place. USA, 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 USA. And that's a strike away from victory. Got him. The breaking ball to get him a Barry, and finally the New York Mets hang on to beat the Phillies two to one tonight. Here we are, a team from New York, a team from Philadelphia, rivals, playing one another, trying to knock each other's teeth out, but the game isn't that significant anymore. It's weird, uh, just being able to high five and hug Phillies fans and have that common ground fans are supposed to be enemies with. All of a sudden, it became a moment of celebration, a moment of pride. For one night, you know, it wasn't Philadelphia, New York, it was the United States of America coming together. That's something special. Whoa. It was emotional and... Mm. I, in suspense as well, yes, what was going yes, to happen? Yes. I was, I was. I so, like this video. Mm -hmm. So some of the videos is like, uh, you never see the time as well. Yes. 10 minutes, it just go no. like this. Yes. yes. And awesome video. Awesome. Awesome. The way they have framed it, it is so good that mm. we were so uh, involved in the video that what's going to be happen now and what happened <laughs> that time. And the most important thing, how the president, uh, the uh, Barack Obama, how he delivered that Announce. speech for one minute. Wow, mm. it was awesome. I mean, everything was very good in this video. Right. So, OMG. But how this uh, would have happened there and how the people have experienced in the ground, mm. I don't know what could be the feeling, but yes, I like this kind of videos. Correct. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. If you like it, then please hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel, then go and, go and subscribe, subscribe now. now. Do let us know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this video. And which else video do you guys want us to And don't forget to like this video. Yes. And we'll see you in the next video. Till then. Okay, okay bye. bye.